Hi, everybody. Another installment from me and my bedhead. But um, I want to talk about something that's really fascinating. I'm going to close my eyes because this is an internal journey that's occurring. And even looking out through the sensation, the sensory organ of my eyes, I find distracts me from being able to really bring the message to you. Okay, so what I'm experiencing is happening is that the world of sensory attachment and identifying, I'll just use my, myself at the level of the senses before I identify myself at the level of my infinite beingness. Okay. So putting my senses before my identity of my infinite beingness, there's a correction that's going on. I think my kitty cat just fell off the wall. Kitty, honey, are you okay? Oh, I think she just fell off the wall. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. I guess it's a little slippery. Maybe we need to put carpet up there. Anyway, so now I'm opening my eyes. <laughs> so in, in no way am I saying, I want to say this right now, in no way am I saying that the world of the senses is, is not glorious and beautiful and wonderful. Because of course it is, right? Of course it is. My friends are in Tulum, Mexico, under the sunshine and in the beautiful aqua water and, you know, the taste sensations of the mango and the eating, the sensory pleasure of eating, the sensory pleasure of, of, of making love, the sensory pleasure of gazing out at anything in nature. And this is beautiful. So I first, I really want to establish that, but we're not talking about taking away from that. But what we are talking about is returning the right relationship between the infinite self and the self that participates in sensory reality, right? It's all about right relationship. That's the important thing. And so I'm just going to, yeah, just explain what's happening. So whatever's happening, it feels like the reality of attachment and identification with the sensory reality is starting to surrender itself into the infinite as the master of the game. In other words, it's like, it's saying, I don't like the word superior, inferior, it's kind of like blueprint comes before form. Energy comes before incarnation. So I'll give you a, for instance, for instance, me wanting to go to Mexico. I want to go be in the blue water, in the aqua water and the sunshine. And I want to, I'm seeking a frequency. I'm seeking an experience outside myself to try and bring myself to a better place backwards. That is being revealed as totally backwards. <laughs> One, because my friend that was going to go with me can't go. And two, because I have enough anxiety when I'm away from home, trying to plan things, trying to plan the cars and the rentals and the plane trip. Granted, if it all was flowing and it was all working, I'd, I'd assume that, oh, this is part of my destiny path right now because it's all flowing, but because it's so not flowing and there's so much fear and struggle and around it, this is the opportunity that my higher self is giving me. It's saying to me, Sarah, there's only one journey that you really need to take right now. And that's the journey to your own wedding, which is happening in your solar plexus. This is all happening in the solar plexus. Our next playing field as eternal beings of infinite light 
opens through the tesseract of the Grand Central Station reunion with our own self in our solar plexus. And so my higher self was showing me all these trains that had left the station long ago. <laughs> kind of like the self. Just, it was all in one place, but it left the station. And all the pieces of self got on different trains and went to different destinations. And now, whatever whatever's happening, and this is happening in the whole evolution of the planet, in the, in the whole of human race, this is becoming available. This returning home, this having all the trains of our attention, of our awareness, actually returning home to the center. And they keep showing me this gigantic central station where everything's coming back. And I feel it in my body, right in the solar plexus. In this, what acupuncture calls the center point of all union, right? And they're telling me, look, as long as you don't take, as long as that's, that's the only journey you need to take right now is home to meet yourself in the center point of all union. And in that meeting, there's an implosion that explodes the being into a star. I mean, we are Christed solar dragon star Templar angelic humans. <laughs> that's, that's how Lisa describes it. That's too many words. We're dragon star Templar angelic humans. We're sons. Our true identity is as a son. That doesn't mean we won't have a body anymore, but it means that the internal will direct everything in the external and not vice versa. You know, once you are exploded, once you've imploded into all the parts of yourself that have come home and the emergent property of that communion with all parts of self, gives birth to the explosion of the star, right? Then everything is internally sourced. Not saying you won't go to Mexico or you won't, you know, go to Hawaii or wherever the heck you want to travel to, you know, or that it's not worthwhile to like follow something that's sensory attractive to you. Cause that's not really what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is you won't be in bondage to seeking that anymore. You'll know that that exists inside of you because what's amazing is as you come back to that center point of all union, you realize that every single thing in the universe exists inside that singularity. It's kind of like all of a sudden you have quantum access to every destination in the entire universe. Because the Genesis point is inside you. Where you commune with yourself as the son of God, right? S U N. And in that position as son of God, you occupy the singularity that gave birth to the entire universe. And so you can think of a place and you're there and you can actually feel it, really feel it. Right. It's, I mean, it's amazing. You have access to all frequency because you are the source Genesis point of all creation. Isn't that wild? So last night as my stomach was tangled in this mass of this external seeking, I found this message inside my stomach as it unfolded. It said, oh my, you are everything. We don't have to go anywhere. And it just kept, and as I was getting it, it relaxed as if it was trying to give me that message. Like, I'm not going to relax 
until you untie yourself from the bondage to sensory reality. And so I started untying myself. I said, everything is inside of me. Everything I seek is inside of me. I have to go home first. I'm not going to Mexico. I'm going to give up on every single thing on the outside right now and just go home. Granted, I still want to do a couple song circles. And I'm still doing things. I'm not like just cold turkey in an ashram renouncing the whole world. I'm not. But I am renouncing any kind of glamorous travel right now. Because the most glamorous of all travels is to arrive home in the center point of all union. (laughs) That is the glamorous. That's the selected, the desired destination is to take spirit airlines to my main destination, which is the center point of all union. In my solar plexus. And once I go there, I can go anywhere. It's kind of like, if you can make it there, you'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, Sarah, Sarah. Time to go home. Time to go home in your own soul, in your own body. Now it's in the solar plexus, but it's deeply connected to the higher heart, right? It's deeply connected to the heart. The center point of all union, it involves that we remove all false umbilicae, which means all magnetic compression devices that have been inserted into us to cause us to seek in the world. They have to come out. That's the tangling of the self. So we untangle this ring pass knot that has us looking outside ourselves and we push the rope back in upon itself. And that's how it unties. And so we land in that center point of all union. We become the quantum access portal to the entire universe. Take Spirit Airlines on the next flight home. Buy me a ticket on the next plane home tonight. Time passages, you know you're in there, you're just out of sight. Oh, time passages, buy me a ticket get on the last train home tonight (laughs) no buy me a ticket on the first train home today (laughs) okay so i'm gonna put this on youtube i'm gonna take a little screenshot of it right now just for the heck of it so i can use this as my um facebook identifier photo Come on. It's kind of delayed. Let's see if we can get one from actually sitting up. All right. That works. Okay. Ciao for now. Happy homecoming.